finger holes like a flute. This, hydro, this is a kind of hydrolophone prototype that has um, eight finger holes. And if I put my finger over the mouth, I get sound. And when I take my finger away, I don't get sound. Now, depending on how you put your finger over the hole, you can change the sound by, by partially covering it. The other thing that's interesting about the hydrolophone is that you can play more than one note at the same time. So there's a chord by covering multiple finger holes at once. And I can express each individual finger hole individually so I can cover this one more and these ones partially and bend them around. So I kind of sculpt the sound dynamically with it. You can also think of it as like a violin. Imagine the water's like the bowl and it's flowing instead of bowing. Instead of blowing into it, it, blow, it flows at you. It, it, it's both a sensory and an effectory input, so it's like a soft, squishy, it's somewhere between air, you know, an air instrument that you play by moving your hands in the air like a theremin or something like that, or some kind of vision-based system. It doesn't give you any tactile feedback. And then at the other extreme, you've got hard plastic, like keys that you push, like on a, on a keyboard, music keyboard, switches and stuff. And so water is somewhere in the middle between sol nothing and something solid. Maybe we've got our own language called fluidity that's an inter-process control for fountains. So if you want to have a water fight with somebody in some other city, like you want to have a water fight with somebody in China, for example, they have their fountain, you have your fountain, you spray each other with water using fluidity over the internet. 